it, show us something. Ugh. I tag every single one of you who's watching this video, so you have to make it because I want to know things about you that is not books. So I. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with another tag video. This tag is a little bit different. It's called the Anything But Books tag. So it's basically everything but books, which I'm actually like kind of excited about. I haven't read any of the questions, so these are coming off of like the top of my head. So if I sound really stupid, I'm sorry, I'm not a fast thinker. So this was originally created by Readers Rot, so I'll leave the original link down below if you want to check it out. But without further ado, let us get started. First question is to name a cartoon you love. I don't really watch cartoons. I'm not really into them, like the whole Adventure Time, that kind of stuff. Like, I don't find them interesting. Does Disney count as cartoons? Because then that's my answer. I don't know if that would be considered cartoon, but we're going with any Disney animation is my favorite. My favorite is Lion King. If that counts, then The Lion King. Question number two is what is your favorite song right now? My favorite song is basically anything by John Bellion. I love him so much. I think his voice is incredible. His songs are so catchy. If you guys watched my Top 5 Wednesday video like a couple weeks ago, it was like January favorites, then you would know because I talked about him for like five minutes straight. My favorite song by him is Eyes to the Sky. I think it's so catchy and just like the chorus makes me so happy. So definitely, if you haven't checked out John Bellion, I'll leave a couple of his songs down below and you should totally check him out if you haven't. Question number three is what could you do for hours that isn't reading? I could probably bake for hours, I would say. Like, obviously you'd have to do something else while it was like in the oven, but... I could just like consistently bake things all day long. I love it so much. I kind of find it like therapeutic. I don't know. If I'm upset, like I bake. So... I would say definitely baking. Question number four is what is something that you love that your followers would be surprised by? I don't know if it's really surprising based off of like what I study and things like that, but I would say I really love to run. Which I think is surprising because I'm like the laziest human being in the entire world. Like I would rather just like lie in my bed all day and do nothing than actually move. But if I can convince myself to run, I really enjoy it. So it kind of depends on my mood and if I can get myself to the, you know, running places wherever I go that day. But if I actually do, then running. Question number five is what is your favorite unnecessarily specific thing to learn about? Okay, this is going to sound super weird, but I love learning about eating disorders and like mental health things, like different disorders and stuff like that. I don't know why, I've always found it fascinating. I know it sounds really creepy, but for some reason that stuff just, I find it so interesting. Another one would be serial killers. I don't know why, but they fascinate me. Question number six is what is something unusual you know how to do? I don't really know like a bunch of unusual things. I can shake my eyes, like is that unusual? I'm not sure, but like I can make them go like super fast back and forth. I know something unusual I can't do is the like tongue thing where you like make a hot dog or like a clover. I'm the only one in my family who can't do that so like I have to be adopted or something like I don't know it's weird. Question number seven is name something that you've made in the past year and show us if you can. I don't really make things but um I guess what can I say what's in my room that I've made? Ooh, ooh, I made I made this mug with my mom and basically all you do is put nail polish in water and then dip the mug in and then it comes out like this and it's really really easy and that's why I was able to make it because I'm not creative in any way. But I have this one and then I also have an all pink one, an all purple one, and an all blue one. But they're over there and I can't reach them. I think that's the only thing in like arms length, arms reach that I've made recently. So there you go, that. Question number eight is what is your most recent personal project? As I said, I don't really make things so like a coloring book page would be like the only thing I would say. I just, I'm not creative. Um, I could say like an essay, but that's not fun. So, I don't know, I, my personal projects are my videos. So, that's really all I make. God, I'm boring. Question number nine is tell us something you think about often. Okay, this can get like super deep right now, so prepare yourselves. But I think about my future a lot. 
and like where I'm gonna be in five years like I still have to finish school I have two and a half more years and then I have to go to teachers college and then I have to get a teaching job and it's just like so overwhelming and I'm like super worried about it because teaching jobs are so hard to find and I'm like I'm just gonna be a janitor or a stripper for the rest of my life but like I'm totally fine I'm fine I'm fine and question 10 is to give us something that's your favorite but make it oddly specific I don't know I I don't have an answer for the can I say my hair I mean, like, it's not really specific, but I like the purple because I feel like I'm a great princess and it just makes me really happy. And I'm really excited because my hairdresser bleached it, which means that as soon as the purple comes out, I can put a different color in and I can just keep being, like, different princesses. Like, maybe I'll go pink next and I'll be, like, a bubblegum princess. I'm excited. But does that count? I don't know. We're going with it. <laughs> And then lastly, you're supposed to say the first thing that pops into your head. So the first thing that pops into my head is pistachio. <laughs> what? I have no idea why. But there you go. Maybe I'm hungry for pistachios. I don't know. All right, guys. So that was the anything but books tag. I I'm sorry. It was probably really bad, but we tried to do it on the fly, and that's, that, that was the result. I'm sorry. I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!